good Tuesday morning. I am currently on vacation in Florida and our devotion is from Psalm 66. Come and listen all you who fear God and I will tell you what he did for me. For I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. As I read Psalm 66, it's obvious that the psalmist was on a spiritual high of sorts at the time he composed this particular psalm. The psalm is so enthusiastic in its acclamation of praise. Verse 16 has been called the theme of the church. Come and listen, all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. Here we have a man of faith who's determined to be heard. He has a story to tell that simply will not wait. He must share it with others. So he shouts to all who pay attention, listen to my story. What then is he trying to tell us? Why is he so excited about this message? What, what does he want us to hear? Well, first, God has taught him that he worships a God who answers prayer. No longer does this psalmist wonder whether God answers prayer. He knows that prayer works because it's worked in his own life. The psalmist has come to possess an inner strength that he's positive could never have been his except through prayer. This man is feasting upon spiritual bread to which he was a stranger to before he prayed. His soul is being flooded with the light of truth that he is confident can only shine through the window of prayer. Yesterday, this man was overwhelmed with difficulties that seemed destined to destroy his faith in God. But today, he's confident that God hears him. Just days ago, this psalmist seemed to be at a loss for how to unlock the door of access to God. But today, he's announcing that he's learned how to use the greatest power that is available to God's children. When you consider all the power that is available to us today, for example, just flip a switch and you got light, there is no power that is as powerful as prayer. The unfortunate aspect of prayer is that so few people know how to use it. What made the psalmist prayer so effective? He alludes to it in verse 18 when he says, If I had not confessed the sin of my heart, the Lord would not have listened. He had learned the lesson of obedience. If he listened to God's instruction and obeyed them, the psalmist stayed out of trouble. His obedient heart would not allow him to even entertain the notion of living a life that displeased God. He learned that a surrendered will was the secret that opened the door of access to his heavenly Father. Unless we're willing to surrender our will to God, there is no answer to prayer. Lord, thank you for hearing me pray. And thank you, Lord, that you not only hear, but you pay attention. I love you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.